Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm John P. We are at the National Restaurant Association show at the LRS booth, and we are having a grand old time. We are indeed. There's and I just have to say food. one thing. Yes. Are you ready? Welcome to Moe's. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Moe's. We have Paul DeVito, the president of Good to be Moe's. here. Oh, Thank good you to be for here. coming. You know, a lot of people know Moe's. Yes. And then some of us don't have Moe's yet. No. In Dallas, for Mo example. Moe's is coming. Good. <laughs> Moe's is coming. We're opening. Coming I'm going to hold you to that. Today, we're opening two restaurants a week somewhere in the country. That's crazy. We sold out all of Russia to one group, 50 store deal. And Costa Rica opened up this year as well. So, well, it's, how many stores are there in how many countries? That we are going to open up. You know, current and current. We're going to open up our 500th restaurant on wow. June 3rd in Manhattan, a wow. flagship location in Manhattan. That's fantastic. So, so the reason I started out with welcome to Mo's for those of you who haven't experienced a Mo's uh, restaurant is that when you walk in the door, the first thing that you hear is welcome, welcome to Mo's. To Mo's. Uh, it, it's it, kind it's, of their personality of the company, right? It, it is, and it's something that can't be duplicated by others. Others no. have tried. It sounds ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's to Sears. 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 Welcome to Sears. <laughs> Welcome to, yeah, it just yeah it's something work. we own. The employees love it. And it's amazing when you watch tape of people entering the restaurant. Everybody walks in, shoulders down, frown on their face. Or paying attention to their phone. They get engaged by the welcome to most. The, the head goes up, the yeah, smile yeah. goes on, and they're ready to engage in the, in the dining experience. It's really a pretty cool thing to watch. All right, and so for those people who also don't know, uh, kind of tell us tell what us we Mo's. get there. What, what do we yeah, get? Yeah, most, most is a Southwestern fast casual concept. We're known for burritos, quesadillas, tacos, stacks, salads. Oh We're uh, vegetarian friendly, so we have different grills for our proteins versus our vegetables. So we have a big vegetarian oh. following. And, and the coolest thing about our brand is we're really about sustainability. And so our, our steak is all grass fed. Our pork is all grain fed. Our tofu is organic. And so the quality of the ingredients is re really drives the brand. Yeah, one thing you didn't mention, I didn't hear it, your queso. Our You're queso is well renowned. Queso. She tells me your queso is absolutely it's the fantastic. best. Again, it's, it's, it, everyone's tried to duplicate it. It's a proprietary recipe. Um, it's just, it's addicting. And we, we call it in-house crack. <laughs> yeah, okay, every kind of food you named earlier, those are my favorite foods. Like, yeah. I should have been Mexican, okay, because... Everybody should have. Yeah, really. <laughs> because the food is craveable. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It is. yeah. I would eat it every single meal well, of my life. now when it gets I to Dallas, do. you will be able to. That's right, I can't wait. <laughs> you know, you think about the Mexican segment, and you think about other segments, and I'm not sure that you could eat hamburgers and fries three times a week. No way. Right, no. but you at Moe's, you can dine there three times well, a week. Well, because there's a lot of variety. A lot of variety, a fresh. lot of vegetables, yeah. and it's all good for you stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I want to switch switch it up a little bit because I, I heard you're a big TV star now. Uh, mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you were, you but he didn't look like this <laughs> when he was on TV. Yeah, what, tell us about that. You went on Undercover Boss, yeah, yeah. which is a TV show where like the top brass goes and gets a job at their own company yep. working at, under a pseudonym. Undercover. Yep. They're undercover and they discover things about their organization that they wouldn't otherwise know. Yeah. What happened when you did that? Most amazing thing anybody could ever do, right, is to go undercover and really find out what's happening in your company. For me, the, 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 most, uh, the most amazing thing was to interact with four different associates in our company. We've got 10,000. Yeah. Four of them were chosen, not by me, but by CBS. And I got to work with these people for a day, and you get to know each other pretty, fast and at a pretty granular, pretty personal level, yeah. right? So it's the only thing I've ever done where I've cried every day yeah. for 14 days straight, wow. right? And so and so that's how long the whole taping took, 14 days. Wow. And so you get to know these amazing people and you get to change their lives. Yeah, yeah it's pretty amazing. Well, but before you change their lives, you wind up uh, getting having some complications, right? Yeah, yeah, because you find out some of the things that are happening yeah. in your company that maybe you're not, you're not so proud of. Uh, the good thing for me was the people that I interacted with, three of the four rock stars. Yeah. And even the fourth one was really good at our that. brand, yeah. but had some issues dealing with some of the other hourly employees. And so we're still working with Tito. If you watch the show, you know Tito was, was the guy. He's, he's a great guy, 
but he's a 19-year-old great guy that's a manager. And so there's a little bit of uh, maturing to do there. Yeah, hey, you know what? We all have to go through growth sure. experiences. Yeah. I know in my career, I he learned- just came out of the womb perfect <laughs> and he had no Everybody's problem. perfect out of the that gate. <laughs> I, I learned almost nothing from my successes. But every single failure, I was determined never to make yeah. that mistake again. And yeah. I had some colossal failures. Yeah. And you know, so it's it's good to, to be able to have those experiences and then keep your job and grow from it and, and you're just a better person. You know, following the show, we, we got tens of thousands of texts and email and blogs and the, the sentiment out there was, Thanks for giving Tito a second chance. Oh, yeah. And so that's huge, right? That is. The, the second thing that came out of the show that I think is absolutely amazing is a leader of a company, 10,000 employees, we're always trying to figure out ways to get 10,000 people engaged in the brand. This one 44-minute show it. did it. Yeah. Amazing. And it's just unbelievable. Is there any one thing that you changed, or a couple things, that you changed across the company, you know, nationwide? Yeah, there from was, that show. Out of the show, one thing really uh, rose to the surface, and that was that our three minute and 30 second speed of service. So when you come into a Moe's and you start your order process, we want you out in three minutes and 30 okay. seconds. So it's a fast casual, yeah. right? One of the things I learned from one of the contributors, one of the employees, was that maybe that that's a little too fast. A little because aggressive. We want like, to get ah, to, maybe we okay. want to get to know you a little better as okay. you come down the line, rather than just move you in and move you out. And so we're going to look at that. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. I'm wondering, I, I wondered, I've wondered since the very first one of those shows I saw, how big of a public perception difference it makes to the companies who are being profiled. And I've seen different kinds of companies yeah. on, on that show. But did you, you know, from a marketing standpoint, let's say, did you receive an uptick? Did, you, did it did it work out kind of as a promotional video in any I way? Mean, it, it has to. I mean, we 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 drew over 10 million viewers. Wow. For that for that show, and so. Right. What we found the next day on, on that following Saturday morning, the restaurants were filled, <laughs> filled with 65 and 75 year olds. Wow. That's not part of our demo, okay, right? We're 18 yeah. to 49. Yeah. But who watches TV on a Friday night at 8 o'clock? It's the 65 and 75. They, the restaurants were filled across the country. I'm getting phone calls from hundreds of managers going, we're filled with gray <laughs> hair. <laughs> so there was a lot of trial. Yeah. So there was reach. And so everything, I mean, our sales went awesome. through the roof. That's awesome. Our I franchise bet. sales went through the that's roof. So awesome. people that want to be franchisees were coming out of the oh, woodwork. that's cool. It was awesome. Have you, so uh, do you that. know, I have any analytics, have you been able to capture and keep that older generation? I think the trial was there. I'm not sure we kept them. I mean, our food yeah. tends okay. to be a little bit spicy. So, oh, so, so, so the feedback yeah. that came back through the blogs and all on the, on the social blogosphere really is, they really connected with me as a person yeah. and really wanted to try the restaurant out. Yeah. And that's really what it was about. So, right. but, but before we move off yeah. of the, uh, the loyalty kind of you know, repeat business, yeah. what do, you, do you guys have any kind of loyalty programs yeah. or are yeah. you looking at any of that? What's, yeah. what's, what's, uh, what's we, going on in that we, area? We use, we use a company called Plum Rewards. And so it's a text based a loyalty program and so every time our guests come into the restaurant they put their cell number in the iPad and it tracks them and every ninth time their tenth meal is free so that's awesome. our okay. loyalty but what's really cool about the program is that there's push notifications out and so the goal is to build your database at the restaurant level so on a Monday and it's raining and it's 1130 and the restaurants empty you can go send out a quick push notification that says yeah. two for one today on burritos from one to three the restaurants fill okay. almost 100% of the time. Work? Really? It works flawlessly. Wow. <laughs> it works, it's, it's like if, if you could send out a coupon, you get less than 1% redemption. Yeah. We get almost 60% redemption. Wow. It's fascinating. And it's text? It's text based. Are you doing That's anything an with SMS apps? Yep. I'm sorry, what? Like, would, are you moving into the app space or are you just going to stick have, with? Moe's app? No, we have a Moe's app and you can order right there. Your credit card's embedded okay. in it. And so our, 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 our marketing behind our app is cut the line. Waiting in line is so 2011. Yeah. Right? And so right now we're averaging about five orders a day across the system on ordering. But in college towns, it's 50 orders yeah. a day. Wow. Well, yeah. I know. Really I would cool. love. So we have 
And, and I don't know if you've run into them yet. There's a there's a place called Freebirds. Yeah, yeah. And seen them, sure. I enjoy it. I we're going to crush them. I love it. We're going to crush I them. Can't when we get wait. Them more. I can't wait. I can't wait. You guys go. So we're going to crush okay. them. Okay. All right. So we, you say that. I just have to say I have to put pit you two against each other, uh -huh. right? So his favorite place right now uh, is Freebirds. I can't wait to turn you. It's true. Yeah. It's I can't true. wait. Let's see it's, what happens. It's going to be up yeah, to you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you. They're a great concept. I love them. Yeah, they're great. Let me tell you what the problem with Freebirds is. I'm not the only one that loves them. They are beloved. Yeah. And they have a great culture. The people are wonderful. They are, there are a lot of things they do right. They do it so right that when we want to go to lunch, I can't go to Freebirds nearly as much as I want sure. because we don't have the time for the line. Yep. Yeah. If, they're, if they had an app and I could just do it, and then when I show up, here's John P's bag, grab it and go, I would eat there. Sole reason why we developed Five the days a week. Yeah. Cut the line. Do you exactly. think I would eat there five days a week? You would. I mean, I'm at least close, habit. yes. Yeah. It, it's crazy. So I All love right. hearing that. Yeah. It's fantastic. So outside of the app business. So I expect a, you both to download it. Oh, we will. It's in the Apple Store, yeah. We we'll, will. We'll already download it and then just wait for yeah, you to we'll just wait and we'll just be like, oh. <laughs> Are you good? Do you remember, is there going to be one in Addison? Yes. Oh. Of course. Are you just saying yes to everything? Yes to everything. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, but we are planning on Brad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, so as a customer, when I'm going through that line, yep. I want to know what kind of technology is behind the scenes because, hey, let's face it, I'm a geek. I just want yeah. to know. Yeah. Um, How do you run these restaurants? You know, we use NCR Aloha for, okay, P for yeah. POS. We use their we use their menu link for their for our back office. But I think when you when you think about our GMs that run multiple restaurants, so let's say you have four or five restaurants and you're a franchisee, and you manage them from afar. Um, what, what NCR gives us is Pulse, and so Pulse is on everybody's iPhone, yeah. and so it's real time sales and labor. And so they're watching that. They're also watching what's happening in the restaurant from all of the cameras. We have cameras in the walk-ins, in the prep area, behind the line. We have it shooting down on the cash register. And so they're watching that no matter where they are in the country, live feed. So, so they can say, the line's out the door. You may want to bring somebody in. Yeah. So, okay. so Pulse, from a sales and labor productivity, iPhone for everybody right now for the cameras and keeping your eye on the business. Okay. All right. So you just said iPhone. Uh, it reminded me. I wanted to ask: Is the and is the an Android app coming? Yep. It, no, it's there. Oh, Android, it's there. Android okay. and Apple. Perfect. The, the only other piece of technology we use really is for our operators. All of our safety, food safety, quality assurance audits are all done on iPads now. And the, and when there's a deficiency, a picture is taken and it's immediately sent to the franchisee. So there's no more ambiguity of was it right or was it wrong, and is that your opinion or my opinion? Because now okay. we have a documented image of what the deficiency was. Nice. Very yeah. Cool. It's amazing to me how much technology we are finding implemented yeah. in the food service industry yeah. in general. I mean, and if you think about it, we need to drive efficiency in this area yeah. because if you're spending all of your time doing back office stuff, you can do less things to deliver delicious, hot, tasty food for us. We don't want our managers in the back of the house. We want them taking care of the guests. We want them in the dining room. Yeah. Well, that's what we want too. And we thank you so much yes. for coming My and pleasure. spending good the time with us. Good to spend some time I can't with you wait guys. to get the Moe's. It's going to be there soon enough, yes. <laughs> He's right. like, calm yes. down. It's going to get there. <laughs> okay, you guys, thanks for spending time with us here at the National Restaurant Association show. Yes, uh, we are going to be back for more, so keep paying attention. Go on uh, Twitter, Google+, all of that stuff. We're all over it. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube, too, if you got them. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm John P. Bye. Bye.